Hello, everybody. Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Patrick and Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So, rallied up. We did get the pause in that bar. Ran a little higher to 81.94. Uh, we have still have the 83.23 level that we're wrote. It looks like we've pulled back the rotation zone, rotating back up. I've already done the retracements. Key support now coming in about 75.71 to 74.70. So right here is your key support level. We, if this rotation holds up, right now I'm updating this level to here because of the bigger pullback, which gives us a really nice cluster. Look how that reinforces this. So now we have 84.77 to 85.06. So we're going to target, you know, anywhere from about 84.80 to 8,500 as the next major level for that can be used for taking profits for raising stops. And then above that, 87.67. Now, when we come up and hit this key level, make sure you update this prior big area from the swing high on the 12th. Update it to the next swing high that hits around this 8,500 level. So if we pull back down, I guess as I said, key support coming in about 74.70. If we were to drop down below that, the next major key support area with the 50 period exponential moving average coming in with the 25% retracement level at 69.50. So that's your next major support level. Also, do we are getting some divergences to start forming. So momentum is waning a bit, but remember you can have multiple divergences. So it's best to move up your stops and know that if we start getting the bigger pullback where you might be taking profits and then looking to re-add on a pullback. I was at 69.50 area. You can watch 7,000. Uh, 7, That's where the rotation zone is on the daily. And we're, we're still quite a distance from it. So as I talked about before, if it starts drifting sideways, watch what happens as the rotation zone catches up. And if we ha start getting the bigger pullback, watch for this key area to watch how it reacts on a rotation at this key pullback area. Other than that, so we have for you on Bitcoin. Switching over to Ethereum. Ethereum, we're watching this 210 to 211 major level. We're poking up just above this to 212, coming back to the rotation zone, and now rotating up strongly. You can see that. Not going to update this uh, retracement level yet because we don't, I mean, this is just happening right now as we speak. Next key level, 216 that you'll be watching for. What I am going to do, though, is going to update to this last swing so we can get our major levels. Just remember 216 was the next key level. Now I'm updating our major levels to here since we got a really nice strong rotation up. Now we have uh, 218 and this is, we're not getting a lot of confirmation here. Uh, let me see if we go, I'm gonna go to the most recent swing right here. Now that's a lot better. Now we have our major swing, which is the big levels, our minor swing from this last one, which gives us 216.37, almost hitting that now. Then we have a cluster, 220.02 to 220.69, so that's the major cluster area, and then 228.60 area. So again, as you rotate up, you can update your major and your minor levels right now, Key support, if this does not hold, key support coming in at 201.86. And then your next area of support would be about 198. Let's switch over to the daily chart. Daily chart, this is also starting to pull away from the moving averages, gaining some momentum also now like Bitcoin. Major area based off the daily for support is 191, top of the rotation zone. So what we have for you on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.